Okay, people, I'm back out here live again. That one cut off. I'm at Grand Avenue in front of the Walmart. As you can see, there is massive flooding going on out here. Um, I mean, this is unreal. at the flooding that's going on out here. I mean, I don't even know where the street is. I'm not going to lie to you. I said I wasn't going to get caught up in this dang mess, and I done got out here and got caught up in it. I'm going to just be honest with you. They ain't nowhere to go. Shit. Uh, I'm hoping my truck will get out of this. I'm scared to even try to go through the parking lot down there. This is unreal, folks. If you're in Yazoo City, do not, under any circumstance, come on the north end of Grand Avenue. It is flooded. Unreal. Oh. Uh, I mean, I have never, like I have said earlier, I've never seen flooding like this before. Uh, the water... Oh, I'm gonna say it's oh, If it ain't coming in my truck, it messed a dang good opportunity. Uh, I don't know why the street is not blocked off on the other end, but it's not. And... It needs to be blocked off bad. I don't know who's not doing their job, but there's three feet of water back there in places on this road. If anybody from the city is listening or is watching or can get in touch with the city, they need to block Grand Avenue off on 20th Street. Oh. Uh -uh. We definitely will not be going back that route. Uh, we're going to swing around here on the highway. You can see the country club is all flooded out, which that's to be expected with half of it on the hill. Uh, I can tell you, you cannot go down Grand Avenue in a car. If you do, you're taking your car life and your life in your own hands. The water is deep. We're going to swing out toward the uh, well, we about ain't got no brakes either. Uh, we're going to swing out on the east side of Grand Avenue toward 19th Street. And then we're going to go down Martin Luther King and see what it is looking like. Um, I'm going to say offhand that it is not. I'm going to give some folks a little shot of what's happening down here without going too far down that may have missed out earlier I think I can turn on this road right here uh, we're going to turn on Rollsdale but as you can see from here on down there's upwards of three feet of water in parts of the road out there in the Walmart Everything this side of Walmart is all underwater. So do not come down Grand Avenue. Period. Um, and even by the time the water goes down, there's no telling what all debris is going to be in the road to create problems. We're gonna, like I say, we're gonna check out the 
well not the east side, the west side of Grand Avenue. Um, the water's receded a little bit here. I see the fire department looks like down here. Um, do not know what they have going on. Or it could be an ambulance. I can't tell by the lights, but I'm going to say offhand it's a fire truck. And I'm going to say it's probably, well, I can't tell what it's dealing with. I'm going to say flooding issue. It is flooding. Um, going to a lady's house to render some assistance here. Okay. Um, do not know what the call is, but... They are at the home of this lady. Oh, Lordy, it's some more flooding up here out of this world. As long as it's not raining too terribly hard. I have to slow down because you can see vehicles down this street here are flooded. If they're not don't have water. Well, it may not have water. Well, it probably got water in on one side. Um, all this debris has washed up from back down that way. Toby Collins Jr. has been remodeling that house and that debris was on the other end of the yard a couple of days ago. Um, I'm going to say water is about six inches deep where I'm at, which per se right here and I really don't even know what side of the street I'm on to be honest with you I'm just to move back toward the stop sign I'm going to aim toward the stop sign anyhow I feel like that would be about the best way to uh, not wind up in a hole so there where I just came from um I'm going to uh, get the camera lens light that right quick, excuse that. Uh, we're going to have some pretty good flooding here. This is going to be 18th Street off of Gordon Avenue. Backside of the home is going to be flooded some. Here it looks like we're just going to have ditches full. Uh, but like I say, this has been or is one major rain event for Yazoo City. I certainly hope that Mima is going to step in and offer some assistance because it's going to be a lot of folks hurting from this. And as you can see, the clouds are still very indicative. Now, water has gone down from about 30 minutes ago right here. So the water is at this point receding in places hard to believe that but it is um, okay here's a neighborhood off of the north side of 15th street park avenue you can see a significant bit of flooding that way little bit of street flooding there. We're going to be headed out toward the ball complex for the people that live here in town. There won't be a whole lot to see most likely other than a lot of growed up weeds and some rough streets for a few minutes till we get back around 
on Martin Luther King. Uh, now I understand from talking earlier that this was underwater. Of course, you can't be everywhere at one time. And like I say, we've been gone during most of the time that this ordeal has been taking place. So we have missed the majority of it. This is out toward the high school. Folks that know what they're looking at can see the high school from here. Um, this is gonna be headed down Martin Luther King. I hear Binger on a piece of equipment somewhere, but I don't know where it's at. Or my head dinging one. My head could be dinging. Gonna be some pretty significant flooding back out. Uh, I think this is gonna be East 13th Street back over there on the other side of the woods. If anybody's watching that's familiar with town, um, you might key in the streets. Uh, all of this is flooded. I'm quite sure it's going to be some homes back over there off of Prentice Avenue that are going to be underwater. been a long time since we've had this. We ain't never had this that I remember. I think earlier I saw Mark Peoples watching. Is Mark still watching? Uh, he used to work for the I think fire department and ambulance service here. He can tell you if we had this kind of flooding in the past. back there and that drainage ditch is where um, one or two young folks lost their lives several years ago I think at least one did this way we're gonna look here the water is down I do know that because back there was underwater earlier Lord at the water up here uh, Trent Hunt if I'm not mistaken lives back in here We'll be on the back side of his house. He's probably got a car that's flooded out. No, Trent stuff is going to be on dry ground. Trent's storage building has paved in, though. There's some more flooding back over that way. Dog checking out things. You can see where the debris has been up in the street here. Uh, 
the water is down pretty good through here. that's a hope of sunshine popping through or maybe I ain't gonna say sunshine but something popping through that's not rain um, whoa here We got a little bit of dryness. Got something that ain't flooded for the moment. If you believe that. Let's see if we can. I don't know if we can even go downtown. It looks like people are heading that way. We will see if you can go that way. Because I am I'm almost positive that it had to flood earlier in places. Uh, those businesses over there typically always flood when the canal gets up. It doesn't look like the restaurant flooded. Uh, I'm gonna just swing in the parking lot over here. And, uh, See if it got high enough to get in the old jailhouse here. Well, it doesn't look like it made it in the old jailhouse. It has been known to get in the dispatch down here, I think. I don't know if it made it in the dispatch center or not. One of our dedicated city employees there. Oh, oh and rain has slowed. Well, Super 10 is closed, so that means it flooded out. Uh, you can see where stuff has got up high here. We can see that the post office flooded on the back side because the mail trucks parked on the front side. We can see the debris all down through Main Street. We're going to circle back around. Um, they probably going to leave the post office trucks parked uh, on the front side. On the front side, the water will get up on them, but they will not get submerged like they do on the back side that happened a few years ago when all the mail trucks flooded out. So, uh, you definitely can see, let's see, the water's down enough, let's just see what we can see here, if indeed it just, looks to me like the water did go in the store. They put towels down, but towels ain't gonna stop that water. Give my A for effort, but you just can't stop Mother Nature with towels. It don't work. Well, right, we got one of our county employees in town, so the county must not be flooded. Oh, at the debris. You can see that they've been cutting debris today. They a little late on cutting this debris though. The uh, city fathers and leaders we have now, 
do not tend to business. I've been sort of nice about that during this conversation, but the bottom line, if these ditches were cleaned out. Whoa. Oh, I don't know if I blocked y'all, but this is the back side of the post office. And indeed, it most definitely flooded. Um, so we're gonna head on around this way and see what we see here. Uh, I tell you what, dude, let's go through town where some of our less fortunate people live. And I am by no way saying that in a demeaning manner. Gander down through here and see. Uh, well, our battery is fixing to die on our phone. And we do not have a charger with us. So we've only got a couple of minutes of video left. I hope you folks, I ain't gonna say enjoyed the video, but hopefully it's been an eye-opening and experience to you all on what the citizens of Yazoo City are encountering due to the lack of our city fathers. Of course, and some things I will say you cannot prevent. Um, but there are some things that can help the situation out. And one of those things is keeping the ditches clean, the culverts clean, uh, we don't need big pay raises for our aldermen and mayor who work on a part-time basis. Uh, I think some of you know we have, the, I think, third highest paid city, elected city officials in the state. I may stand to be corrected, but I know our aldermen are ranked up there in the top five, unless they've took a pay cut, and I'm quite sure they have not took a pay cut. We have one new lady alderwoman on board. We can't put any monkey off on her back because she just got in office, and I've talked with her a time or two, and she says, that they are going, or she is going to do her best to put forth all the effort she can to improve some of the infrastructure here in town. So, um, we just to get into the hills and I don't think you're going to see anything down here. Um, if I stumble across my charger, we may ride out on the highway toward the river and see what it is looking like. Well, I know what it's looking like. It's bloody. Big time. We'll ride down here and see if anybody got stuck in the by dock. I'm quite sure they did. The water is either gone or they are out. But there's always some brilliant soul that thinks you need to drive under the by dock down here. Sort of about like over in Jackson on Gallatin Street. People just don't have a brain between their ears anymore. Or if they do, it's a rock and they don't use it. Sort of by like me. But, um, now the bot dock is clear. It has had plenty of water and mud under it. So, and there's our lovely town. It's looking great. I wonder how many of these places are gonna fall in from all this rain we getting. 
because I can guarantee you these structures are not sound enough to hold the weight of this pond and rain that's coming down. Water coming on down through there, and I bet you that water will be coming down through there two days from now. We got a new little restaurant here on this creek. I have not heard anybody say if this creek, but I tell you what, you can see where the parking lot has washed out over here at the detention center. Uh, my window don't roll down over there, but that parking lot has recently washed out probably from this storm. I do not remember it being like that the other day. It could have been. But we stopped at that little restaurant and ate, and I did not notice it. But anyhow, folks, I'm going to let you all go. Stay safe, vigilant. Um, just be safe, period. Take care. Talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.